guys want to come hang out with us and maybe even do some hunting with us we're hosting a small game hunt and a lunch at jw corbett together with backcountry hunters and anglers now if you don't know about backcountry hunters and anglers i suggest you go look at their website because they're one of the few organizations that's out there trying to make sure that we continue to have access to public land and fighting for new access all the time this event's going to be taking place on february 16th and we're meeting at the south gate of JW Corbett at 6.45 in the morning. And if you're not an experienced hunter, that's okay. Shoot us a DM on our Instagram and we'll try and pair you up with a more experienced hunter that can take you out and show you the ropes. We really hope that you guys can make it to this event so that we can meet every single one of you. Man, these things came out really handy this trip. Yeah, they're pretty sweet, man. Actually, we should probably tell the viewers a little more about them, right? Yeah, man. All right, so these are uh, our latest DIY project, and we call them the Quack Attack Pack. And the idea was basically, when we were out here last time, I was dragging a sled with our seats and our decoys and everything through the woods for miles. And it was really tiring, and at the end of it, we were kind of thinking that we might be able to do this in a more efficient way. So since we had these seats with us anyway, we figured let's just use the seats to carry stuff out, ditch the sled entirely. So Danny and I came up with the idea for these together, but when we went home and built them, we did it a little bit differently for both of them. So I'm gonna walk you through how I did mine and uh, some of the features that I added. So for mine, I used these backpack straps right here and I got these with an old tree stand, so they worked out perfectly. Now, I don't like the idea of having wet straps on my shoulder, so I actually made mine detachable by attaching some carabiners right here. So I can simply take these off just like that and then undo the straps. So when I use this seat, it's not gonna get the straps all wet. That way when I'm walking back out, I have nice dry straps. Now in order to uh, use all of the space inside of the uh, crates, we wanted to make sure that we could open these up so that we could get to the bottom one. So what I did is I bought some, some heavy duty stainless steel hinges that I attached uh, on the back side. And then on the front, I used some stainless steel buckles like those that you might find on the side of a cooler. So all you have to do is flip open these buckles and it opens right up and you can put stuff inside of it. I wanted to build mine with stuff that I had laying around the house. And I used a a paracord and a cleat for my closing mechanism. Now for the hinges, I went ahead and just used some rubber that I had and also some bolts. Um, these little metal pieces in between came from U-bolt um, setups. And then for my backpack, my backpack straps, I used some nylon uh, webbing so it doesn't hold water very well. So I can just leave that on there all the time. Once you're done hunting, you go ahead and throw your ducks in the bottom. Keep on the top and get out of there. to win both of these shirts for free all you have to do is make sure that you're subscribed to our channel and if you want to get more entries into this raffle just click right here to get more info about the raffle
Thanks for joining us on this DIY build. If you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up. And please subscribe to our videos. That helps us out a lot. And if you want to watch more videos about duck hunting, you can click right here to see a playlist of all of our duck hunting videos. Or if you want to watch more DIY and how-to videos, here's another playlist. And since turkey season's coming up soon, you might want to start getting ready for that by clicking right down here. See you later, guys.